Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome to Sasve in Switzerland. We're here for a World Cup round of the UIAA ice climbing. Now there's two days for this event and today is day one. The athletes are qualifying for the lead semi-finals and eventually finals for tomorrow and there is the speed finals as well. So this is a chance for the athletes to get accustomed to this incredible venue and what a venue. Inside a giant multi-storey car park, this place is truly unique. Now you guys aren't necessarily used to seeing ice climbing when you watch climbing so I thought we'd go through how the competition works and in many ways it's similar to an IFSC style format. So today is the first day, there's two qualifying routes and the athletes combine their scores into an overall score. So the higher you go on the route the better the score you get and 18 athletes get to qualify for the semi-finals tomorrow. Now at the same time there's the speed qualification going on, uh, it's the women's turn at the moment and they're competing for a place in tonight's finals so it's all to play for and of course fastest one up gets a chance to compete for that podium place <laughs> Mariam so lovely to see you at these events uh, first of all how was your day was it good it was perfect. It's honestly, I did a very good qualification in elite climbing. I'm very happy with my results already. So let's keep it that way. Only there are two more, yeah, well, semi-finals and finals to go. Awesome. Well, best of luck with that. But what I wanted to talk to you about was speed climbing, because speed climbing is weird enough as it is, right? Oh, totally. S suddenly you stick ice in there. You've got tiny little hooks. What's it all about? And just how difficult is it? Well, actually, it takes quite some training to be good at this. And to be honest, I'm not very good at it <laughs> because I never trained speed climbing. But what you see in the speed climbing in general is um, you use different tools. So they're a lot shorter, so you don't need to grab them with two hands. Actually, that makes it even unsafe because if you crush your tools, you might puncture your arms hit your arteries or something and well then end of practice and the rest also for your shoes it's completely different uh, you wear a different kind of crampons so it's quite a specific sport you need to be super dynamic to do this it sounds a bit like running 100 meters with like cooking knives in your hands pointed at your eyeballs like it sounds just insane to me yeah preferably not at my eyeballs actually i wear safety glasses for that reason okay. <laughs> Dennis, lovely to see you again. Uh, I've literally nabbed you as you've come down from the wall. You're still out of breath. Yeah. Tell me a bit about that qualifying run. Well, I've seen all the other guys climbing. It was like, whoa, that must be quite easy. They're flowing through it, going super fast. And I was super nervous to like replicate all these moves. I'm like getting in there. First thing, I'll feet pop. I'm like, oh, down. No, okay, relaxed. Okay, no, all fine. You no, know, two another moves, and then you get like into the intellect hole. I'm, no, no way I'm going to hold that. This is the third move. What's going on? And that's like all my mind went crazy. I managed it, but just like borderline. <laughs> So I'm here with Rob Aidy, the event coordinator for the World Cups. Uh, thank you for having us back to Sasfay number one. It's always so cool to come here. I, I kind of see this event as, as a bit of a jewel in the crown of the UIAA. Why is it so special? I mean, the event's been around for, this is the 21st year. We had the 20th, 20th anniversary last year. Um, and it's just been a, a stalwart on the World Cup tour every year, year in, year out. Um, it's an event that the athletes really look forward to. Um, we're up in the mountain town of Sasfe, um, so it's an ice climbing event, although we're in a, the middle of a car park, um, we are right in, start bang in the middle of the Swiss mountains.
So I managed to find Luna. Now, Luna, you are special because uh, you are the youngest winner of a UIA World Cup event in China this year. That, that must have felt incredible. Yeah, that was uh, the main objective since I uh, started ice climbing. So it's just, you know, the dream that just gets realized. <laughs> Are you feeling the pressure at this stage? Yeah, a little bit, <laughs> I think. But I'm uh, I'm working on uh, using it, you know, <laughs> to climb better. Well, mate, uh, we're here for two days. Can't wait to see you. I'm expecting you in the finals, so uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Good best of luck. Thank you very much. The sun has set here in Sasfe and it is time for the men and women's speed competition. The ice is about to fly. Well, I've managed to wangle myself one of the best seats in the house for the speed finals. Tomorrow, it's the lead finals, and of course, we'll bring you guys all the highlights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.